Hi everybody, today I will show you how to create a school management system in WordPress. So let's begin. So first of all, what you need to do, you have to go inside the appearance and in the appearance, you have to go inside the themes. So for our project, we are actually using the Astro theme and now let's click on the theme details. And from here, you can see the starter templates. So let's simply go inside the starter templates. And we would pick a template from here that is related to the school. Okay, so as you can see here, we have these different templates here, but most of these templates are premium. So this template is actually the free template. So we're going to simply use this template. Okay, so one thing that I have to mention that before using the starter template, you have to install the starter template plugin from the plugins. So all you need to do is to go inside the plugins and from there, you have to search for the starter templates. And from there, you can actually install and activate the starter templates. Okay. So from here, you can simply upload your own logo if you want to. But right now, I'll just simply go with this template logo. So let's click on the skip and continue. And you can change the default colors and you can also change the fonts from here. But right now, I'll just simply go with the default color and the fonts. So let's click on the continue. Click on the submit. And we have to wait for this. Now, let's just click on the view your website. And as you can see here, our website is ready. So if I just scroll down, you will be able to see we have this great looking website here. So if you want to customize this website, all you need to do is to click on the edit with Elementor. So from here, you can simply edit or customize your website. So if you want to change the background color of the heading here, you can simply do it from here. All you need to do is to click here on the edit section. And from here in the styles, you can simply change the image from here. So let's click here. And you can select the image from the media library. So let's select this and click on the select. And this is how you can change the background image of your heading. And here you can simply write down the name of your school. And in a similar way, you can customize your button here. Okay, so you can see here we have the link here. So you can simply put down your own link. And after that, we have the different section. So if you want to change the text here, you can simply do it from here. And if you want to change the paragraph, you can also do it from here. And we also have this enrollment. So if you want to change the value, you can also do it from here. You can also change the value of the qualified stop and the other values here. And in the similar way, you can change the image here. You can change the text here. And in the similar way, you can change the images from here. So this is how we can customize our website. And even if you want to add the new section, you can simply do it. So let's scroll down. And from here, you can simply add the new section. So let's click on the add new. And from here, you can add the two column structure, four column structure, three column structure. And you can also see the other structures here, whichever you want to use. Okay, so this is how we can add the new section here. So let's click on the update. Now let's click here. And let's go inside our dashboard. Alright, so now we need to install a plugin that will simply make our website a school management system. So let's go to the plugins and click on the add new. And from here, you just have to write down a school. And you will be able to see the school management system by WB School Press Team. So we have to install this plugin. Now let's click on the activate. Okay, so as you can see the WP School Press here. So we have a lot of the different options here that we can use in our website. So let's click on the dashboard. And from here in the dashboard, as you can see here, we have the teachers, we have the student, parents, class, attendance, events, notify, transport, and the general settings. So if you want to add the teacher, you can simply add it from here. So let's click on the teachers. So this is the table list of the teacher, but right now we don't have any teacher. So if we want to add the new teacher, all we need to do is to click on the create new. And from here, we have to fill up the detail for the teacher. We can add the profile image. We have to select the gender. We have to write down the first name, middle name, and the last name. And you also have to fill up the other details for the teacher here. If you want to add the teacher, in the similar way, we can add the students. So let's click on the students. You can see here we have the table of the student records. But right now, we don't have any student here. So if I want to add the new student, I just simply click on the create new. And from here, I would just need to fill up the detail of the student here. And this will simply add the student in our record. And in the similar way, we can add the parents. 
and we can add the classes we can add the subjects subject marks and we have the exams timetable and if you go inside the attendance we have the students attendance and the teachers attendance so you can do all the process of the school management system with the help of this plugin and this is how we can create the school management system in the wordpress if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel